Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this channel. This is Adriana here, 44 Degrees Motorbike Adventures, and you're here in the middle of nowhere between Gary and Cork. This is a... I've been this road before. This is a road that uh, connects... Uh, you can go from Kilgarver to Bentry, and uh, it's the most amazing road. It's quiet. Most uh, traffic here is local, and... Uh, not many bikers here. I haven't seen many. I've been to this road a few times and uh, it's very scarce of bikes here. Uh, they like to take the main road going to Kalani or going to Gemer. But they don't take this road here which is beautiful. Anyway, uh, I'm here with my Africa Twin now. And the bike has been running really well. Um, beautiful day here. Um, it was cold this morning, it was very cold, and uh, which was good because uh, I just figured out the heating grips is, is crap. Basically it warms up but it doesn't fully work. Uh, I used to uh, have like the Oxford in uh, Transalp, which is great, but this one is an old one, so I might have to replace. We see how much work is in that involved, so it's not a priority at the moment, so we see. Anyway, I'm just gonna show you guys exactly what so far what I've been adding to the bike and one of my plans is to To get the bike ready. I actually going to go to the ABR festival in England next year in June So I want to take the trans. Uh, sorry. I still have still talk about the trans up uh, Trans up is back at home The Africa twin so I can do some trails there So I'm gonna set up the bike. I need to luggage and so I start by buying a GV tank bag so that's what I want to talk to you guys today about it is the GV tank bag that I bought and um, I've been buying GV products for a while now crash bar bags I have my other tank bag um, had the back box and then I was yeah okay the Bag, the last bag that I bought was this great bag to be honest with you but uh, disappointed in some ways but not as this one this one I'm very disappointed with GV about this bag so anyway so if you guys are planning to look for a bag to uh, a strap on bag to put on your bike doesn't matter if it's a Africa twin or not um, come with me and uh, let me show you exactly what I think about this bag before you buy it Anyway, so that's the 20 liter GV tank bag. It's a strap on bag and uh, is um, It's a GR something I actually show you in a minute what the name of the bag is because I completely forgot to be honest with you My intention was not to get this bag at all. My intention was to get an Oxford um, tank bag, but two places that I tried to buy the bag they didn't have it and the factory was six weeks or something and they did a delay on the production and they don't, didn't know if they were resupplying anymore so I got my refund and then I was looking for a, a held Durano 2 as well but I could only find magnet ones and I didn't want magnet, I wanted a strap one so I ended up getting this bag here um, First of all, it's a 20 liter bag and uh, it's not, um, you, you cannot actually uh, compress the bag. It's a 20 liter straight on, so when you buy it's 20 liters. It's not as big, it's not bigger than the one that I have. It's just the shape. Um, it's very square here. Uh, it's completely waterproof. I haven't tried yet to see it's completely waterproof, but I'm going to show you a few things that I, I I don't think this bag will, uh, will work. So first of all, let's talk about the bad points because I haven't taken this bag out much to see the good points of it, but I've noticed straight away the bad points of it. So anyway, first things that I, I noticed is first of all is the strap. I um, mean, come on, do you be... Okay, this one is not that bad. It's when you strap them down the bottom here, 
as a loop you can loop around and strap it this which is fine okay there's no problem that should have provide you with a buckle which would be easier instead of to be tight here see okay but anyway it works this part works um, the front one then is a kind of surprise because there's no loop there's nothing it's just like a one thing here that you have you can strap the bit thing on basically the front here is just a strap with the one of those things here so you can loop it around uh, somebody is going to the golf anyway uh, that was one of the first thing quality I found very poor the you see here it is I don't know if you can see this but the lining is it's kind of like a peeling a bit um, as I say it's a 20 liter bag and it's only one compartment this thing can come out you can take that out and uh, the bag is basically uh, a one compartment bag um, it has this hard part here that maintains the bag straight and um, the bag attaches to this with this buckles here to the base the strap stays on and enough to put petrol because you can just basically untie it here like that and flip the bag which is good yeah it's great like that all right but then they come up with these two pockets on the sides as you can fit nothing nothing there right um it's really small i it's, it, once the bag is full it's it, it can't do anything with it it's tiny not only that i don't know who decides to make this thing i mean come on they put me a waterproof zip here but then as a designer of the bag they put holes i don't know what the heck is this gv but tell me about it what is this breathable lining what the heck is this thing here so if you put anything here it's gonna get wet so i don't know why they have a waterproof zipper and holes as a design uh one other thing i know is when the, you're riding the bike in uh, motorways uh, even though this this attaches here right so it locks here so it's fine but what i notice is the wind catches the bike and it keep this keep going up and down up and down right so that's another annoying thing it is supposed to be waterproof and i believe it could be it, it probably i believe it, it is i'm not sure i haven't tested yet except for the pockets it's definitely not a waterproof because of the holes but um i haven't tested it yet <coughs> surprisingly enough i'm not sure it's because of the shape of the africa twin tank um it is smaller than the one that i have uh maybe if i actually unbuckle here and leave it a little bit loose i can manage to get more stuff in but as you can see the tank is right there i think you might you might take this off as well you might can get a little bit more room i don't know but it, it is smaller than the one that i have and uh, the one that i have is actually com compressed to 12 liters at the moment um, quality is a problem here and I let's see peeling the, the stitches are peeling I didn't like the quality of this bag at all uh, when it came str straight out of the box I just it didn't look good it looked cheap it looked like something made out in China it probably it is because most of the stuff is made in China now so anyway uh, the riding it's not bad when you sit down here it's on the 
on the Africa Twin is fine. You can see your controls. It's okay. I have no complaints about that. Uh, the looks. Yeah, you. I think you can get used to it. The top is a bit. It's a bit like a TV screen. You can open this up and put like a, your maps in here. But let's be fair guys, nobody's using maps anymore, right? Really? Definitely unless if you're gonna go to a remote remote location. Or you can put your phone in there as well. But um, yeah, it could be a little bit better designed. Anyway, so if you're planning to actually get a hand on of those, um, think about those things because there are probably better bags there. I... Anyway, guys, so that's it. That's the GB tank bag, strap on tank bag, 20 liters. Um, yep, yeah, think twice. I decide to keep. Um, couldn't be bothered my ass to send it back. Um, yeah, it does a job. Could be done better. The only time will tell how this is gonna last. Anyway, so uh, thanks very much, guys, for watching. Uh, we we'll see you on the mountains again. So we're gonna go up. No. All right, guys. Safe ride. See you.